Welcome to a brand new episode of Technovation. We have got an extremely exciting episode for you with us, starting with our tech news roundup. Here, we catch you up on the top stories making headlines in the world. My name is Michelle, and let's get started. As you may already know, Alexa is a virtual assistant technology developed by Amazon. Saying, hey Alexa, to play some music while you're studying, or just in the mood to listen to a good song, is considered by many to be a factor of convenience. Alexa has now integrated Netflix into its larger apps network for everyone's convenience. Netflix has blessed its users with the launch of Play Something. This feature was introduced as a way to help viewers who may, for one reason or the other, be suffering from decision fatigue or simply be indecisive about what they want to watch. The feature has the ability to play anything that may suit users based on their taste at the end of the day. Now, Amazon has just introduced a smart way viewers can get ahead. Users can simply ask Alexa to play something for them on Netflix. For many of us, this is once again a convenience. But to some speculators, it looks to be the collaboration of tech conglomerates to accumulate data from their customers. Personally, I believe in a balanced use of technology for the win. As far as I'm concerned, technology is a tool. Not inherently bad or good, it just depends on how we use it. Wouldn't you agree? The social media giant Facebook has officially changed its name to Meta. In a statement released by CEO Mark Zuckerberg, he said that Facebook is committed to connecting lives from all across the globe in a new virtual reality system called the Metaverse. The Metaverse is a project that many different tech companies are working on to help build a virtual workspace. Are you all excited for Meta? Let us know in the comment section below. In September 2018, the Uttarakhand High Court directed that no doctor in the state of Uttarakhand can prescribe medicines on paper. They were told to adopt digital prescriptions to avoid prescription errors. Unfortunately, efficient digital tools to follow the mandate didn't exist back then. However, things are going to change with the launch of the Ayushman Bharat Digital Health Mission. If we provide smart digital tools to doctors, nurses, and technicians, instead of pen and paper, morbidity and mortality in healthcare will come down significantly, and access to healthcare will improve tremendously. This will further lead to the cost also going down. With all these tech developments coming in fast, I think we should slow it down a bit and give you all an explainer in our next segment. Thank you so much, Michelle. Now, let me paint a picture for you. Fly a plane, visit another planet, explore hidden ruins in the hunt for treasure, or scorch the tracks of Silverstone as you do your best Lewis Hamilton impression. All from the comfort of your own living room. That's the dream behind the pleasingly self-explanatory concept of virtual reality. The term virtual reality has actually been around ever since before the advent of the internet. It was first used in 1938 by the French playwright Antonin Arnaud, not in any technological context, but to refer to the imaginary or virtual nature of characters and objects in the theater. The meaning of VR as we know it today can be credited to Jaron Lanier, who in 1985 founded VPL Research, the first company to sell VR goggles and wired gloves two devices that are the mainstays of modern VR. Some of the components incorporated into modern VR systems include motion sensors to track the positions of the user's body, head, small HD screens to provide visual displays, and miniaturized computer processors to generate a 3D feeling. VR headsets use a technique known as stereo projection in which two different images are generated and displayed from slightly different perspectives, causing our brain to combine the two 2D images into a single 3D image. In today's day and age, VR is rapidly being made more realistic with the use of haptic technology. Haptic technology like wired gloves and bodysuits essentially simulate the sensation of touch by applying pressure on the skin of the user. So if you grab a joystick of a jet in your VR world, your wired glove will ensure it feels like your hands are actually squeezing the metal. 
VR has become a hot topic lately, with Facebook and other tech conglomerates wanting to invest in a visual office or marketplace. Facebook has also changed its name to Meta to highlight its commitment to creating a virtual metaverse. Now, what exactly is a metaverse? Well, it seems I don't have time to tell you in this episode, but stay tuned to Technovation because we will cover it soon. Thanks, Ronak, for that explanation on VR. But let's again speed this episode up by giving you some fun facts. Today's facts are all about the $2 trillion company, Apple. Apple originally had three founders, Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and a person called Royal Wayne, who actually left the company only after 12 days. He sold his 10% share in the company for just $800. Had he stayed on with the company, his shares would be worth $60 billion today. Apple's first company logo featured a drawing of the father of physics, Sir Isaac Newton. This was inspired by the tale of Newton being hit on the head by an apple and theorizing the laws of gravity. Can you even guess how many people Apple employs? Well, a precise number cannot be found due to Apple being a huge company. Some estimate that the number is higher than 90,000. In fact, Apple is such a rich company, it is estimated that it has twice the amount of money than the US Treasury. By 2011, the Apple iPhone accounted for 40% of the company's annual revenue. It's estimated that over three quarters of Apple's income is from products that were invented within the past 10 years. So that's all we have on Apple. We hope you enjoyed our dose of tech facts. Before we go through, let us quickly see who made it into the iGrasp Hall of Fame this week. Hi, I am Mo Gupta, a student of Pied Sanskrit Senior Secondary School. Cryptocurrency is a form of digital currency which does not exist physically and is highly encrypted. It is a group of binary data which acts as a medium of exchange. The Technovation Quiz is a unique opportunity for you to flex those brain muscles and show us how brainy you are in matters of tech. All you need to do is click on the link in the description, put in your details and do the quiz. There are some great prizes waiting for you to those who come in first and second. The winner will receive an Android app development course worth Rs 6,000 for absolutely free. Now not everyone can be a winner, so therefore the runner-up will receive a Scratch programming course worth Rs 3,000 rupees once again for free. Our tech partners SP Robotic Works will help you level up your skills and make you take charge of your future because remember, the future is now. Be quick though, as preference will always be given to those who answer first. Win the course and be inducted into the iGrasp Hall of Fame to do your school and yourself proud. Thank you for watching Technovation. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you all very soon. Don't forget to apply for the quiz in order to win some great prizes. And always remember, the future is now. Thank you.